I want to use this as a teaching moment as well. I, I have done some life skills seminars over the years myself. We worked with the whole family. And these seminars would have a couple hundred people in them. And this family had three generations in the same group. The grandma, her kids, then their kids. And grandma, sweetest lady, is very wealthy family, ranchers in East Texas. And she had a secret. And we got to a part in the training where you really unburden yourself with things that if you have something that you feel guilty or ashamed about. And she was having the hardest time. And she was like 72 years old. And she said, I just can't. I just can't do it. I can't give it a voice. I'm sorry. I know that y'all are courageous and you've done it. I just, I'm, I can't do it. I can't do it. And they came to get me to come and talk. We were there. It was in small groups. And I came and talked to her. And I said, look, just you and me right here. Look me in the eye and just tell me quietly. There's nothing you can say that I'm going to judge you. Mm -hmm. This has burdened you your whole life. She said, I, I, I felt guilty and ashamed every day of my life since it happened. And I said, and you're in your 70s, and you've carried this burden all this time? What is it? And she said, when I was 12, I had a seizure. Oh, God bless. And I said, and? I'm, I'm waiting for her to say, like, and during that time, I went and robbed a bank and shot <laughs> nine people or whatever. But that was the end of the story. At 12, she had some type of seizure. And in her generation, that was interpreted in a lot of different ways, like demonic possession or oh. something bad. It was not good. And she felt so much shame for that. She carried that for almost 60 years every day of her life because she isolated about it. And when she said it, everybody's like, what? Like, that's it? Right. She had no way of knowing that yes. until she talked to people about it. And I said, look, that's a neurological storm that you can have once or repeatedly, and it has nothing to do with you. And I'm talking to her, and she's getting taller mm -hmm. as I'm talking to her, and her grandkids and her kids are around her, and the next morning, she looked 20 years younger. She was uh, free from this burden. That was no burden at all, only in her mind, yes. because she isolated about it. Monsters live in the dark. And when you talk about it, you really claim dominion over it. You You have a power over it that you don't have if you don't if you don't talk about it, you're not alone. People think I'm the only one that feels this way, suffers this. No, you're not. Nobody has invented new suffering in the last <laughs> 2,000 years. Nobody's invented new suffering. We share it with somebody somewhere, somehow.